Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be talking about dimensional analysis. Dimensional analysis is a useful method to convert measurements into units with different bases. So as a recap, the mnemonic method we saw in the previous video was used to convert units that had the same base. But dimensional analysis is more useful when we're converting units with different bases. The method that I like to use is the train track method. Let's start with the example of converting 1.32 centimeters to inches. When we do dimensional analysis problems, we use the following steps. First, we circle the quantity that we're given. So we will start with 1.32 centimeters. Second, we circle the unit that we want to get to at the end. In this case, that is in inches. Third, we list out all the metric conversion facts that we can use to get us from the starting unit to the ending unit. These are called your conversion factors. In this case, the starting unit was centimeters and the ending unit is inches. The metric fact that gets us here is one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. Fourth, we draw out our train tracks. Next, we start filling out the units that go into each box. There's a special rule in dimensional analysis that I like to call the diagonal rule. If a unit has previously been on the top, it will next be on the bottom diagonal from where it was originally in order to cancel out. So let's see how that works. First, you place the first number that you were given in the top left box. Next, you fill the top and bottom boxes of the next columns with the metric conversion facts until you arrive at the unit you want. So the metric conversion fact we will be using is that 2.54 centimeters is equal to one inch. But how do we put this into our train tracks? Remember a diagonal rule. Since centimeters was previously on the top, that means that centimeters will be on the bottom in the next column. Then, because of our conversion fact, inches will then have to be on the top since this is the quantity that we want to get to. Once we arrive at the final unit we want to get to at the top, we can stop and we don't need any more conversion facts. In our case, since the final unit we want to get to is inches, we can stop right here. When we cancel out the units, we arrive at the units we want to get to, which is inches. Now, how do we fill in this train track? We're gonna start with what we want to convert or 1.32 centimeters on the top left. Now, we just fill in the rest of the boxes. Since we know that there are 2.54 centimeters in one inch, we will always put 2.54 centimeters down here and one at the top. Any conversion rule that we have will always be right on top of each other in the train track. Our final step is to multiply across all the values on the top and the bottom of our train tracks. The top will give us 1.32 times 1, which is equal to 1.32. We then multiply all the values on the bottom of our train tracks, which will be 2.54. We then divide the top by the bottom, which will be 1.32 divided by 2.54, or 0.51968 inches. The final step involves sig figs. We need to make sure that our final answer has the same number of sig figs as the first given quantity. Since 1.32 had three sig figs, that means that we are going to round our final answer to three sig figs, so we will arrive at a final answer of 0 0.520 inches. All right, so that's it for our first dimensional analysis walkthrough. We will be going through another example in the next video around multi-step dimensional analysis problems. See you there.